Hum. Mm, noob jam. Hello and welcome back to Bayonetta. Today, chapter 15, the tower to truth. Well, let's go truth of the tower. Let's figure it out. Welcome back, little one. Mummy, where are we? It looks like someone's expecting us. Awfully nice of them to roll out the red carpet. Luca, you need to get one thing straight. Yeah, I know. I won't look after you, so don't screw up. I got things under control. Let's go. Stay next to me, little one. Then everything's going fine, isn't it? Alright. Did I purchase... I thought so too. I did purchase myself something. Ah, yes. I have double the amount of stupid weapon. It's perfect. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's see if I can survive this. Survey says no so far. <laughs> oh man. Keep attacking from behind me. It's hard to see. Okay, that was right in front of me. That's fine. Well, I'm gonna get caught by the same thing forever. Calm down. Ah, torture attack though. Okay. Took a lot of damage, I didn't do very many combos. I can do better than this. Probably. Hopefully. I'm gonna try anyway. So too. Alright. 
I'm doing better than earlier, but not by much. <sighs> oh, you guys have some issues. I see, I see. So that's what it was. You guys are real. I know this. We know this. They're not real. Oh, I get to destroy this abomination for free. Heck yes. Any secrets? Any secrets I can get my hands on? I think maybe, but probably not. tell that I'm focusing very hard right now. Alright. Am I improving or doing worse? Well, I'm doing worse apparently. So why is this specific thing just open like this? A huge industrial machine is visible. It seemed to be set to do something via automation, but it's not operating at the moment. I see, I see. Okay, I want to do this. I can't get through the window, I see, I see. You guys are real distant, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, and you're the one I hate! Perfect! Alright. Spin the wheel! Okay, this thing needs to die. Okay. Darn it! Well... Oh. Oh, well, good thing this weapon thing actually did the thing I hoped it would. <laughs> it hit them in a timely manner, that's all I was hoping for. Okay, I'm not dead yet, but not by much. Oh, and the... Uh, the machinery is on. Alright. She was nowhere hating me, yet I still got the witch time for some reason. Alright. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Again, I'm not doing very well, but I'm alive so far. And I know I have items. Like, I could be using item, healing myself and everything, but... No, no. <laughs> 
That's not how I play the game. I play the game wrong. Oh, you guys, it's been a while, right? Ah, darn it. All this because of a pity little shot. That's kind of sad. But all right, death number one. I was not able to avoid death. All right, I have this now, don't I? See how easy that was? See how ridiculously simple it is when you're using all the tool in your arsenal? <laughs> well, I gotta say the breakdance ability is probably one of the most powerful you can have in the game. <laughs> Cause usually enemy gets stunned whenever you hit them with it. And you can just keep piling the damage. There we go. Fine. And weapons are usually powerful AF, but... close earlier but do you come close or not oh you just keep shooting all right i'm out then he doesn't want to fight me i'm not gonna fight him Terrible against the enemy, I have to stop this. <laughs> what happened if I do this? Though my scores aren't necessarily terrible, but they're not good either. Oh, now I have to fight you for real? Is that it? Oh. Yeah, aim. It's just that aiming is backward. Oops. Do I have to use this to fight him, or can I just... Oh, if I press I can treat him faster? Cool. Game has a bit of a hard time keeping up with me, it looks like. <laughs> oh man, die! Ow. Well... Are you gonna fight me more directly, or are you just gonna keep shooting those things? I see, I see. I do. Alright. So I can either sit on the thing and get shot down because I cannot defend myself, or I cannot do that and die. Well, don't I have a fancy option at my disposal? Yeah, 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 I know. I guess I'm supposed to hop down whenever he's shooting missile. Waste of time! Although if I aim for the head pretty well, he 
get staggered pretty easily, so that's good. Yeah, I guess aim for the head. dead. I gotta say, this was not a fun fight. Not a fun fight at all. I did platinum apparently, which is good, but it still was not a good fight. Reading! Island in the Sun. Isla del Sol. Well, let's read about it. The Itavola Group wants a medium-sized IT company True acquisition has broadened his business based on base and became one of the world leading conglomerate. Their base of operation is on a man-made island off the coast of Vigrid known as Isla del Sol. Isla del Sol was initially constructed to concentrate Vigrid's urban function in one area and facilitate its expansion. However, its true function is to funnel enormous power to the ruling authorities, creating an autonomous region and under Itavola group control in order to facilitate the creation of a theocracy. Very wordy. The CEO of the Itavola group, claiming to be descendant of the Lumen, has used his economics and political strengths, even exploiting the faith of the people, to bend Vigrid to his will. That is how the construction of the island, as well as the city urban planning, to match his own religious views. Building are lined up as if they were an enormous spiral being drawn towards the center of the island, a symbol of the trinity of realities known as the Cosmos of Chaos. Amongst these urban structures, there are SAM-equipped strategic defense sites, known as Gjallarhorn, tall building creating a skyward barrier that is nearly impregnable. At the center of this curtain of defense lie the Itavola building, the heart of the Itavola conglomerate. I've been able to obtain important information regarding the building itself. Wait. Alright. While it may be the outward symbol of the city's wealth and pride, the inner sanctum of the building is home to advanced energy research that the Itavola Itavol CEO is secretly using as leverage that he hopes will allow him to remake the world, according to his vision. It sounds absurd, but I've seen things on that island so strange that I believe it now, with all my heart and soul. Okay. Cool. This seems out of place. Hmm, it was out of place, kind of. Elevator have all been stopped. It must be some sort of automatic safety device. But this flimsy gate can can be broken to make a way outside. All right. Power of the moon. Oh, cool, I dodged it. No, they're both coming for me. Whatever shall I do? What? 
the? What the? Why no... Why no witch time? Oh, witch time now? But not the tentacle. Tentacle don't count, I guess. And the head doesn't necessarily count. Why do I keep attacking? I keep attacking in the wrong direction for some reason. It's very odd. This fight is actually annoying. I gotta say, this is one thing I've been complaining about this game since the beginning, I think. Is, you know, when witch time can and cannot be activated. And there's no... The problem I have with it is there's no indication to tell me when it can and it cannot. Like, it's not like, oh, if the enemy glows, then you can activate it. But if he does not, then you can't. You know, like, it's like... Okay, that makes sense, but here it's not the case. It's just some attack you can and some attack you can't. And I don't quite understand why that is. It's just making things confusing. Because when you expect time to slow down and it doesn't, it just makes things very confusing. I think this is one of the flaws that's in this game. But then again, it's Bayonetta 1, it came out in, what, 2012 or something? I don't remember when it came out, actually. Fire and Brimstone down there, I thought there was going to be a challenge of some sort, but nope. Boobs! Let us rejoice at the boobage. How much money do I have? Unclear. Do I want? No. I got nothing that I want. There we go. Anything else around here? No, just... Just our, our good old buddy doing things. Why is there a way down here as well? Oh! Information! Tell me more. Itavol is CEO 1. Alright. Well, Itavol. The Itavol group. Have I been saying Itavola this entire time and there's never been an A at the end of it? Am I crazy? Maybe. The Itavol group holds complete control over Vigrid, planning the city and harming it to the, to the teeth. All while using a rhetorical flourishes to conceal the conglomerate's many dark facets. The company's vast political and economical power has created an island held as the symbol of modernity, Isla del Sol, and placed its headquarters at the symbol's very center. At the conglomerate's stop stand a man said to be a descendant of long departed Lumen. A man who has earned the adoration of the people, Balder. Balder is, as they say, a mystery wrapped in an enigma. If he, if he is truly one of the descendants of the Lumen, that would mean that the blood in his vein has been pumping since their extermination some 500 years ago. 
However, even if you look back through decades of Vigrid's record, there is no knowledge of any with a Lumen lineage. Furthermore, if you search for information on his hometown, schooling, work history, or family, you find that it has all been forged. There is no record of his life before it evolved, nor are there any stories of unimpeachable veracity. It seems like he has been hiding detail of his life ever since his birth. I have already chronicled the unprecedented military expansion and turbulent movement related to the next generation energy research taking place in Vigrid. However, a man who has for years and even or even decades hidden the fact of his life is now at the very pinnacle of power of a conglomerate with literally earth-shaking might. The question begged to be asked, what is this man capable of? I don't know. We're gonna find out probably at some point, right? I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go down here. Why does this exist? Ah, it exists as a thing, I see, I see. Well, I have the one thing that you're weak against, the circuit. I should not have done this. I should have kicked their asses a little directly. Before doing that. Oh well. get hit. I thought I avoided damage somehow. But I didn't. I didn't need to do that. Oh, an item that will make me come back from the dead, I see. Oh, it's a crow! No, come back! Crow! Where did he go? Ah, got him. Hmm, well, I have seen everything, I think. Oops. Alright. Let's, uh, let's use the big button over here. Well, it's not really a button, but you get what I mean, right? Oh, let's use it. I'm shoving something in. And it's sinking into the ether. Can you imagine being someone normal that tried to navigate this place? How confusing this has to be? Oh, right. I can't touch you if I'm using your own weapon against you. Can't I? Oh, cool. Uh, he just... Threw away, I guess. Mission accomplished, I did it. Why do I even worry about those platforms? I can be a bird if I choose to. And I guess I can only stand on those specific platform here, so careful me, otherwise I'm gonna fall back down. Ooh. I feel like I've gotten many of these in this uh in this chapter. Many chests. It's almost as if the game is gearing me for something, isn't it? Alright. Oh. It's a Volusio number two. Well, 
there remain one thing that worries me about Baldur. There are rumors that he has been partaking in the game of the Lumen Sages, in other words, feverishly hunting out any remaining Umbra Witches in order to facilitate his next generation energy research. It is hard to believe that a member of that clan t taught to have crumbled away 500 years ago still remain, unbeknownst to the world at large. However, when considering that they are purport her to have wielded a massive power as overseer of the world, the word that this self-styled sage Baldur is actively seeking a witch force, one that have major qualms. I feel like I read this entire sentence backward and it makes no sense in my head. But I don't care, let's keep going. And of course, while the sound of research into next generation energy is incredibly attractive, the marvelous ascend of Baldur as well as his startup company and his control of an arsenal of armaments and fortifications has all been conducted under a covert of total media control. Could one honestly say that all this secrecy would be needed for something that has peaceful uses? <laughs> Another troubling sign is the ease of which one can acquire information regarding the Itavol conglomerate. As of late, it may just be my journalistic sense, but I feel there is a possibility that Baldur is intentionally leaking information. If we make that assumption, that leaves me with no way out. Ever since I began covering Vigrid's transformation and the dark shadow behind the Itavol group, I have been on an inescapable crash course with the truth. Even if it was a trap and I must overcome even if it was a trap and I must overcome that trap to get to the truth, I am hell bent on doing so. I kinda wish Oh, and we have a new one to my beloved son. Uh, if you find this page un undestroyed and in the hands of another, that means something has happened to me. I wrote these notes in case that very if should come to pass. However, it still makes me wonder how far I will have gotten on my journey. Uh, maybe I've been able to grasp some sort of truth from the darkness of confusion. Maybe I've been able to give my son the understanding of what it means to truly believe. To the son I love more than anything in this world, if you are the one to read this, forgive me for throwing myself into work and thinking little of our family. I am a foolish man, much too attached to my beliefs and entirely unable to change. I am sure that this has caused you immeasurable trauma. Now you set off on your own journey down this long hard road we call life. However, as a father, I have nothing I can teach you, and even less I can leave you. Hopefully you will remember the, sort, the short time I spend with you as a token of my love. I pray that it will become for, become for you a roadmap to life of substance. Okay. And that's it, that means I have all of the thing. No more reading. Good, 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 good. Uh, I need to go over there, I think. Anything up I can go to? This is weirdly. Why is this one higher than all the other one for some random reason that I don't understand? Curious, curious. But this is where I need to go, so let us go. I can attack as a bird, I think. Can I attack as a bird? I sure can. I don't know if it's more effective than just shooting normally, but... Yeah, why are you here? Why do you exist? Why is this weird thing here? I thought perhaps there was a platform further on, but nope, doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe it's just bigger to indicate that this is where I'm supposed to go. Nope, it's because this exists. I see, I see. Okay, this one can transform into a bunch of things, that's dangerous for me. Alright, 
I can't be touched anymore, that's the thing. Don't do this, please. Do something I can counter. Perfect. I got hit. Some of those are hard to dodge and some of them are easier. Yeah, volleyball again, let's do it. Can we hit the ball this time or are we gonna miss it again? And miss, yep. I did it. Oh, this again? Oh, I might. I don't know, I can't get ass out of this one. Well. Oh, the sky is converging. Oh, hello there. Harmlessly fall to his death, but I guess not. I am really running as fast as I can. I can't go any faster than this. And I feel like it's gaining up on me. I'm alive! The red liquid is flowing through this cable. It must be pumping into the sphere. Yeah, but what is it? It's so wiggly and squishy. electric for a while because why not right this feel very final boss ish I gotta say I mean I know this is the last area of the game I'm pretty sure anyway so you know we're getting there aha the tower of truth has ended ah, I did almost all the encounters too of course I did stone, I died so many times. Hmm. I'm gonna have another go through at this game, because I just have to. Like, I can't be that terrible at it. I cannot accept this. I don't know why I'm struggling today, but I am. Oh, 
I missed it. Well, I don't know. The control aren't reverse or anything, but I got it in my head now that the controllers are reverse, so I'm confused. <laughs> well then, money. Give me the money. Hmm. I only have 38,000. That's low. Very low. Well. The Lumen Sages. Well, that's going to be our next chapter. But right now, I'm going to call it quits. So, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you could help me out by pressing all the good buttons under this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And with all of that said, I bid you a glorious day. And I do hope to see you in the next episode of Bayonetta. Bye bye <laughs>